Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, I was blooming miles away there. Hope everyone's well. Happy Friday. It's the weekend. And um, Arsenal are in action tomorrow lunchtime, 12.30 kickoff. So looking forward to that. Um, can't wait if I'm being honest, but let's have a little update on Mohamed El Nenny before we get into um, a preview, which will be at nine o'clock tonight on this channel. Um, I'm going to live stream it this week rather than pre-recording it. So, um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, nine o'clock tonight, I will be um, live streaming the preview and my predicted starting 11 or what I would do as a starting 11. Um, and then we'll have a a little bit of banter in the comments and um, we'll go along our way. Also, as well, as soon as I finish doing this stream, and it's not going to be a massively long stream, maybe 10, 15 minutes, soon as I've done this stream, I'll be switching straight to my FIFA channel. Link is in the description and I'll be doing a stream out there because I've seen all the comments on the video that I put out there. Um, so I'm just going to go through and and, um, and clarify what I want to do with that channel. And um, yeah, so happy day. So keep... Uh, Keep it locked into that channel after I finish this one. Anyway, Mohamed El Nini um, came in a few seasons back for about £5 million. And he ain't really done a great deal, if we're being honest. Um, he scored a goal against Barcelona. We all remember that one. Absolute screamer, by the way, as well. That was a great goal. I think that's um, going to be his highlight. It's the only highlight. Other than that, he is um, exactly what he is. He is a, a £5 million footballer. And in today's market, £5 million gets you Mohamed El Nenny. Well, it probably don't anymore. He'll probably go for less than that. Um, so he's going to go on loan if he is going out um, because, unfortunately, nobody wants to pay a fee for him. But Fenerbahce and Galatasaray are both linked to him. They were linked earlier in the transfer window. And, um, and yeah, it looks like it's, um, it's on the verge of being done. So we've got until the 2nd of September to get him out. And um, I fully believe that that will happen. I think that he will be gone by the end of this transfer window. It's, there's no way he's going to get any starts at the at the, um, at the club. And um, yeah, he's um, he's not in Emery's plans. There's a few players that are not in Emery's plans. I'll come on to some of them in a minute. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's good that we're starting to to move forward. It's good that we're starting to get rid of some of these players that are just simply not good enough and never were good enough. I mean, why did who sanctioned that deal? Why did we buy Mohamed El Nenny? Um, I'm currently sitting here at uh, quarter past five, racking my brains thinking, well, who authorised five million quid for him? What what did a scout see in Mohamed El Nenny that thought, yep, yeah, do you know what? We'll pluck him from there and we'll drop him straight at the Emirates. Seriously, come on, man. What's that all about? Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's good that he's on um, on his way out and... I wish him well. No, uh, no bad feelings or anything like that. Listen, he hasn't played enough games for us to to build up a um, a, a hate campaign. I should say um, he's just not very um, gifted, and that's about it. He's not gifted. He's um, he's on about forty grand a week, so he's not exactly killing the club in terms of wages. Um, but five million pounds that we spent on him, if we can even get half of it back, it's a miracle. Um, the chances are he's just going to go on loan and. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably end up getting nothing for him. But let's move on to um, Granite Xhaka as well. Now, Granite Xhaka is not in the in the squad this weekend. Apparently, he's got an injury. Um, I'm not sure where he got that injury because he looked fine when he came off against Newcastle at the weekend. But um, I touched on this slightly earlier in the transfer window about Inter Milan and that they came in for a bid with him, um, bid for him, sorry, and um, and we rejected it. Um, but I would not be surprised if he leaves this window. Now, I don't think the club will force him out. I don't think they're going to um, they're going to say, "Well, you've got to go." But if the offer comes in and it's big enough, they'd be stupid not to take it. Because when you actually look at it and you see the amount of money that Inter Milan paid for um, Lukaku, Man United got nearly all their money back. So you know you, you've got to look at that and go, "Well, hang on, if they're if they're coming in for Xhaka, and I fully expect them to bid again for Granit Xhaka by the end of this window, um, and if they do." We're going to be talking more than we paid for him. And at that point, um, that's when you say, yeah, cool, we take it. If it's over £40 million, pounds, accept it all day long. Um, if it's not, then that's up to the club to do what they're doing. But anything over what we paid him, basically, I'd take all day long. Um, put Joe Willock in there. I think Joe Willock showed at the weekend he's got more than um, more than enough to, um, to make it at Arsenal. I think that... Um, he's good enough and I hope he starts this weekend. I've seen a few people saying that they didn't want to start him and they'd rather have Ozil in there. 
nah, none of this Ozil rubbish. He cannot start at the weekend. He hasn't played enough game time. He didn't play at the weekend. For me, Ozil's nowhere near that starting eleven on Saturday. Um, Joe Willett keeps his place all day long. Best player on the pitch, in my opinion. Um, along with Maitland-Niles and along with um, Aubameyang. I thought them three. Callum Chambers as well. Um, but my, like I said, my preview will be out a little bit later, nine o'clock tonight. Um, I'll go through um, what I would do in terms of starting eleven and how I see the game going against Burnley. And um, and yeah, that'll be nine o'clock. But but yeah, El Nenny, he'll be going at the end of this window. Another one, obviously, I've just spoke about Granite Xhaka. Another one is um, Smith Rowe. I've seen a couple of tweets from um, Arsenal-based journalists or Arsenal-related journalists um, saying that Smith Rowe could be going on loan at the end of this season. He's not in the photographs for the, um, I think it was the first team. I might be wrong. It might have been the under-23. I can't remember now. I think it was the first team. He weren't in the photos. Um, Martinelli and Saka were in the under-23s photos. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not quite sure about the Martinelli one. I think he should, he should be in the first team. He should be in the first team squad. So, what does that say? You know, the guy's come over here. He's done really well for us in the games and the minutes that he's played. And now he's in the under-23s. I don't quite get that. Um, which means we're probably keeping Mkhitaryan. Um, but we shall see how that plays out. But um, as for Smith-Rowe, I do think that he will be loaned out as well. And I don't want him to be loaned out. But... Maybe for the good of his um, his uh, career and for the good of his, um, you know, for the good of Arsenal, the fact that he'll go out, he'll get a lot of game time, he'll come back to us a better player. I think that could, in the long run, be beneficial. But I'd rather see him start for Arsenal. I think these kids, Reese Nelson's another one. Um, he didn't have a great game at the weekend, but he done well. Um, he tried hard, but he was knackered after sixty minutes. Um, but yeah, I want to see these young lads uh, break through and get into the team. So. So, yeah, there we go. Anyway, Lem, that's my ranting over. Let's do five minutes worth of questions and we and comments and we will move this on. Pepe picked up an injury this morning, says Mohamed. Um, did he really? Um, I, I haven't seen that. Thank you, Thierry. Looking peng. <laughs> every day, I swear, every day. Um, Mustafi Elneny, Mickey need to leave the club, says Majib. Good evening to you, mate. Good evening. Anything new on the Mickey sale, says Faisal. Listen, mate, there's not a single club linked to Mkhitaryan. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, um, I don't think he's going. He ain't going nowhere. Um, I don't think he's going anywhere. And, listen, whether you whether you rate him or not, if he's still here, you have to back him when he plays. Um, at the end of the game, coat him off all you like. But, um, but yeah, at the, uh, at the stadium or when the game's live, you've got to back him. But... It's um, if it was left to me, he wouldn't be it. He'd be gone. Um, same with Mustafi. I think Mustafi will go. Um, we've still got what two weeks of the transfer window to get players out. I think Elneny and Mustafi will definitely be gone. Um, Granite Xhaka, I think. Um, I don't know. It depends if Inter come back in with another bid. I reckon they will, but it depends. Um, and then obviously next summer we go down the route of um, trying to get out a few more, i.e. Mkhitaryan, Mesut Ozil. Um, players like that. And um, then Emery's fully got his stamp on his squad because then three quarters of the squad will be his players. And then if he's got us top four and he's still in a job, um, then great, we move forward. If he's not, then the new guy comes in and um, we're playing Europa League again um, with, a, with, a new, um, with a new squad. <laughs> that comment from Reza. Lee's hairline, Mikatarian's hairline. <laughs> all right, bro. What is my listen? My hairline goes back to '98, bro. Yeah, but seriously, what is Mickey's hairline all about, man? Just go zero all over. Um, I don't quite get that. What's happening? You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Um, Will we play Celtic in the Europa League? Good evening, Haroon. Hope you're well, mate. Um, that'd be hilarious just to see how salty they are. I'd love to get them in the Europa League. I don't think you can get them in the um, the group stage. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can't get them in the group stage. I think you can only get... Actually, you might be able to get them in the group stage. I'm not sure. I don't know what pot they're in. Um, and yeah, obviously, they're Scottish. They're not English. So yeah, you probably can get them in the group stage. I think they've been in Champions League groups before with um, English teams, haven't they? So... I think they've actually had us in the Champions League before. So, um, so yeah, maybe we can get them. Um, it would be funny. It would be hilarious. And you know it's written. It's just written in the stars that we're going uh, to get them if they, um, they ain't even in the Europa League. Really? 
I thought they were in the Europa League. I thought they got kicked out of Champions League the other day. And that means they're in the Europa League. I'm sure they are. <laughs> no, don't don't time out the Graham Potter ones, man. Leave it, Eric, man. I find it funny. Don't time them out, man. <laughs> You're brutal, bruv. No, it's funny, man. I even put it on my Insta stories and that, so it's cool, man. Um, they have to play another qualifier. Wow. Jesus Christ. So they're not even in Europa League yet. There we go. Used to respect Celtic, but their fans are a bunch of salty bitches, says Don Juan. Do you know what? I must admit, I used to like Celtic, but um, yeah, the way they've gone on over this Tierney deal is just nothing short of embarrassing. It's like, you know, Alex Awobi leaves Arsenal, born, born and bred, yeah, like Arsenal through and through, been at the club 17 years. He leaves and every single person, whether you liked him or not as a footballer at the club, um, every single person has wished him well. So... You know, that's the difference. You know, Celtic have obviously got the ump over it. Listen, we're a bigger club than them. I've said it a million times before. We are a bigger club um, than Celtic. You've only got to go and have a look at um, social media, right? Tierney, um, when he won, a, I think he won the treble treble, put a tweet up. It got 14,000 likes. When he changed his, um, his um, profile picture yesterday, it's over 60,000 likes. There's the size of the clubs online straight away. That's without the... Uh, that's without the uh, the commercial side of it. That's without the revenue streams. That's without the um, the fact that our stadiums, Brantwell, pretty new. Listen, Celtic Stadium is mad. I'd love to go to um, an old firm. I don't think I'd be allowed, though. Maybe I'll have to go to the Rangers game. Like Rangers Celtic rather than Celtic Rangers. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if I walked into Celtic um, after winding their fans up all, all uh, summer, I don't think I'd be welcome. Is Lee short for Leander? No, it's short for Leroy. No, it's not. It's just Lee, mate. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to switch from this channel to the FIFA channel and just give everyone an update on that FIFA channel, what's happening, when it's happening, um, and how it's happening and what we're going to do going forward. So anyone who um, anyone who wants to go and check that channel out, go and subscribe to it. Give it some love. Before you all leave, there's over 500 of you. Again, YouTube are not pumping out the notifications. I don't know whether they've got it in for me, but, um, but yeah, they're not pumping out notifications. I know thousands of you ain't getting them. So. So yeah, there we go. Anyway, do stick a like on this video and I'll be back on the other channel in about five minutes. Thanks very much for all the love um, and the hate. I love it. Laters, peeps.